Hello, makers and planner friends. Holy smokes. The response to my last video was wildly unexpected and I had such a good time. You guys have been so wonderful, so thoughtful, so complimentary, so engaging. It's everything that I think I have ever wanted for my channel. Monetizing, whatever. Who doesn't want to? few extra pennies each month but I wanted to build a community I wanted to find my people I wanted to be able to talk about all of these things with like-minded individuals who get me and you guys delivered I was so excited all the comments all the likes all the new subscribers welcome I'm completely thrilled and thank you thank you thank you you guys you you just you 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 done floated my boat i love it so what kind of chaos can i give you today lots lots and i gotta tell you <laughs> i've tried to record this like five times now i thought i was done then i'm like i feel like that was a lot I feel like when I go to edit it, I'm going to be disappointed, but I'll already have put all my notebooks away and I'm going to be real sad and I'm not going to want to film it again. So I just won't do it. But I think there's some value in what I'm about to do. So I'm redoing it. I've locked the door. I've silenced notifications. I've taken my dog out and given him a treat so that he'll leave me the hell alone. I'm ready. We're starting over. We're going big. And I'm just sorry for whatever happens, but let's go. So as you can see, partially, I have pulled a smattering of planners and notebooks that I have used. What made me pull these particular notebooks? Well, phase one of this party was this. It's messy. I scribbled. It's not cute, but it had to happen. This was my phase one. So let's talk about it. Can you even see it for the love of God? Yes, you can. All right. Chaos. Pure chaos. I feel like I'm still in a fever dream from what, what Catherine did to me a couple weeks ago with this release. But okay, we're all right. On this side, I put the planners and notebooks I'm spying on. Like what has been flirting with me? <laughs> what has been like leaving me little love notes and making me want to pursue uh, a lot of them, really, a lot of them. Uh, yeah, so we have Sterling Inc. I really think I like the Passport Monthly Booklet and the B6 Slim Horizontal, and I have, I have ideas about how they'll be used, I think, though I'm still like, I like a B6 too. They don't have to be slim. They can be chunky. I'm all right with that. We don't we don't body shame around here. Yeah. But I I think B6 slim. Hobonichi. <sighs> Y'all, there's something about Hobonichi that just makes it sparks joy. And when I think about like legit, what is my number one priority? For my planners and notebooks, they must spark some daggone joy. Note it. I want to have a good time. If I'm going to spend so much of my time in my notebooks and my planners and my things, I need to experience joy. So Hobonichi just, it gives me joy. As I stated, I love Japan. Love it. So they, they always are like ahead of everybody else, short of if I have a specific need that they just will not fill, I look elsewhere. I have a wandering eye. I have a wandering eye for my planners. And so that's why there's other things here. Paper Tess. I've tried her out recently and I'm quite pleased, quite pleased. The Pocket Daily Notebook. They come in two parts. I ordered the July. It came later, so I didn't get to start it in July. 
but I think I've found its purpose and I'm pleased. MD, MD, when I think about something on the notebooky side to fulfill a particular purpose, the A5 Codex and the A6 MD notebook or A5 MD, no I have these. The Codex is on the way, but I have many MD notebooks in various sizes, including B6 Slim. Okay, so that's what I'm currently thinking about. So I suggest everybody start there. Like, who are you in love with? And like, who do you want to bring home to the parents? Like, these are contenders, honestly. Some of them, like weeks, I don't have any idea. No freaking clue what I would do with it. I just love them. I just love all of them. So they're here anyway. Uh, and then I'm like, what do I want to do? What do I wait, need planners and notebooks for? What kinds of stuff just thrills me to track like the nerd that I am? And that's where these lists came in. We have play. Play. I'm an art nerd, born and raised. And though I never have time to do it because I'm always in planners. I love it and I always come back to it and I want a space to do it. And it does not it does not feel like it fits into my main planner journal area. So, I want somewhere to play. I want to do collage and watercolor and put photos and doodles and memorabilia and ephemera and junk and art. One. Woo woo, which I call Magic Hour. Sit with it. I'm, we can workshop it later, but I think I'm changing the name to Magic Hour. It was Magic Mornings, I think. I haven't done it in so long and I miss it. It just centers me and it makes me happy and I'm more positive and peaceful. And oh, when I do this stuff, like I pull an angel card, tarot and oracle card. I do gratitude, scripting, affirmations and setting intentions, recipes, uh, and study, like say I'm learning about a crystal or an herb or a something, a, uh, notes for studying. I need to get back into it. My heart needs it. Spark joy. Health. Y'all, I'm on a mission presently because I'm broken. I'm real broken. I have pain every single day, every single day, and I need to get it. I need to fix it. And no one's helping me, so I need to do it myself apparently. And so I'm on this whole ass journey. And I don't want to trigger anybody with weight loss conversations or all of that right now. I'm just saying it needs its own book. It needs its own book. I like to do graphs and charts that I can like, hey doc, look, yeah, I'm that kind of nerd. And I want to put in like my fitness workout plans and schedule, calories, macros, my weight, meal planning, Pain management info, food tracker, blood sugar, fasting, habit tracking. Ugh, give it to me. I need something for that. And it has to be separate. This has to be separate. This has to be separate. And this has to be separate. Memory keeping. Uh, I consider my to-do lists part of memory keeping. Sure. Am I going to look back on my book one day and be like, oh... I cleaned the toilet that day. No. Uh, but I can see, like, I was a f effing beast that day. Look at all that cleaning I did. Get it, girl. Well done, you. That, you know, that's all right. I want to be able to journal. I want to do all my main planning because that part of memory keeping for me. When did I go to that Vitamin String Quartet concert? That's all part of memory keeping for me. It's not just where do I need to be on any given day at any given minute. It's part of memory keeping for me. And then draw your day. I like to doodle. I like to do some doodling. See? I want to do this stuff. I bought a whole bunch of Copics that day. I automatically know that because I doodled it. That's what I want to do. That's the bagel sandwich I had that day. That is draw your day. I need, I need that in my life. And it can be in the same place I do all of this. Now, journaling. My main journaling... Like my day-to-day, -day, this is what happened today stuff. And then the dramatic purging. You know what I'm talking about. That toxic shit. I need a place to put that. 
separate from all this fun stuff. Because as I'm perusing that, I don't, I don't necessarily want to see that. But it'll, it'll, bleh, it'll get it out of me so that my brain doesn't have to fixate on it. It needs a place. But wait, there's more. Media and books stuff. What movies am I watching? TV am I watching? What music and am I listening to? Like the records I'm playing, the books I'm reading, the podcasts I'm listening to, all that stuff. It needs a place. I don't think it needs to be separate. Even Alexa is interrupting me, you guys. I cannot today. I cannot. I'm not even on the clock anymore. And when work's interrupting me, it's a whole thing. <sighs> Anyways, I don't think this needs to have its own place. That has not worked out for me very successfully, but we'll talk about it. Work. To-dos, meeting notes, project notes, that kind of stuff. I don't need a calendar for that. I've been using just a plain notebook all year. It's working fine. It's working fine. I don't need a planner for that. I already know it, but I'll show you what I've been using. Therapy. I already have a little notebook. I'll show it to you. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you what I've been using. I don't, I don't need much there. I usually will jot down what I want to talk about so I don't forget because I don't, I do therapy every other week. And then sometimes I might note down some key takeaways and advice or something or she'll say go look at this app or go look at this website or blah 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 I might want to note that and I don't I don't think I need that jumbled up in my other places because if I'm like what was that website miss therapist told me to look at I can just go to my one succinct ish <laughs> little notebook and find the information I don't want to get it to get lost in my other nonsense Boom. Common placing. Love it. Started a new one recently. All the notes about all the things. Boom. Catch all. This is like the messy place. This is the thing that like when I sit down with my partner and I'm like, all right, September, when do you plan to be here? These are the weekends I have available. What do you, what do you, it's a complicated endeavor for us apparently. Uh, and I may go into that catch all and just be like bibbity bobbity boo. And then don't care if it changes, scratch it out, write it. It's also the thing, so here, I said messy planning, on the go, portable, low stakes, don't care. It's not really pretty. If I scratch things out, I don't care. And I can take it with me so that if I'm at the doctor and they're like, hey, I wanna see you in two weeks, go make an appointment. All right, here's what I got, guys, here's what I got. It became quite handy when I was going to the chiropractor every other week, but anyways catch-all collections I don't think I want to have my collections in a yearly place so that I have to transfer them each year to the next book unless it's like a one and done thing um, but if it's something that continues ongoing across multiple years I need a I need a place to put that I need a place to put that like for instance a collection of some cleaning things collection of and some of these are to be clear some of these collections are perfectly fine in a yearly thing but I think I want um, these sorts of collections together uh, some some cleaning trackers and things and information like when did I last change the filter in my air purifier whatever's those sorts of things and then financial stuff a collection of that I want to get I want to get a lot of money saved. I want to um, track how much I spend on certain things, like my dog. Holy crap. This wee beastie's getting legit expensive. Yeah, I'm talking about you, bro. Good thing you're cute. Uh, and then studio. Studio meaning Kelly Anderson Studio. I don't like to call it my hustle anymore because that's just that was pressure that's pressure and it feels toxic and the whole health hustle culture is done me in it's done me in so that would be notes and ideas about projects projects taxes sales research social media stats and plans etc a place for that again not all of these need their own their, their own adventure all right so we have that we have that 
You know what I don't have? Some markers. Hold on, please. All right. I have my little caddy of markers and colored pencils. You guys, I love it. I love it. Someday I'll do a video of like my favorite little cubbies and storages and supplies and things. It'll be in there. I really love it. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. This is a little extra from the, the way I normally do it. That's all right. That's all right. We're, we're in this together now. Y'all are here. Let's do it. Work. Here's how we're going to do this. Work is going to get assigned a color. Any old color will do. Actually, uh, I don't... Uh, my brain is melting. It broke my brain. Work. I'm perfectly content where I'm at. And I have lots of room left. As you can see. Look at that. I've been using this since August 28th. I've been using this a year. And I've only used about that much. So this is going to last me years. Can you even see what I'm doing? This is going to last me years. This is a Moleskine Expanded. It's kind of falling apart. I don't know what that was about. Work notes. Work notes. Got some cute stickers. This is fine. So work is figured out. Work is figured out. This is so sloppy, y'all. I'm sorry. Whenever I get it sorted and I know nothing's changing, I'll, I'll write it nicely in my Hobonichi uh, for future reference. But work, she done. Uh, therapy. This is what I currently use. It's an Archer and Olive little baby notebook with craft paper. And I just, like I said, I jot down quick things, uh, information I'm given. What do I want to talk about? It's fine. It's perfect. I'm only halfway through it and I think I've been using it for two years. So we're good. We're golden. We're done. Therapy check. Uh, different color. We're going to do a different color because we can Baby A and O. Sorted. Go us. Look at us. Look at us. Common placing. Perfectly happy where I'm at. Absolutely perfectly, wonderfully happy. This is a full year A5 Stalogy. And I'm I'm doing the, the common placing thing. Like this is a blanket I made. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm destined to make another one. So I wrote all of the notes for the, oh God, the pattern I printed out right here. Got it. Anyways, common placing, figured out, done, and check. Look at us go. New color, new color. Because we have lots of markers that we might as well use them. Common placing. Stalogy. So sloppy. Uh, what else should be easy to figure out? Collections. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do because I bought three of these in different sizes and I haven't used a single freaking one of them. Moterm rings. This is personal wide. Uh, of the three, this is the one that I've bought the most stuff for already. So this is the one. This is the one that will catch all of the things that don't fit there on my list. Um, and like the, the cleaning and finance and whatever collections, because I mean, come on, that's so cute. That's so cute. Uh, and I have some stuff already. So I can, I can carry over some of it as I'm able. Um, and I was real bad. I got excited at first. I'm like, oh, well, let's try this insert out. That'll work like that. That's good. But also let's, let's try this one out. That's all right. But I, I never pick it up. I never pick it up for day-to-day -day use. So some of these just aren't working out for me, but that's all right. Lesson learned. Um, but I can do some things by way of collections and just keep them in here. So collections are going in here. I'll probably get new tabs made for finance, etc. Once I figure out what those need to be, so happy, killing it. So new color, collections, 
is Moterm Rings PW, Personal Wide. Studio, Notes, Projects, Texas. You know what? That's what that started out as. That's what my intention was for that. And right now, my Etsy shop isn't getting a whole heap and heck of a lot of attention. I think I can just set up a, um, a section for that. Look at us. Look at us go. All right. The catch-all. I have a thought for this one. I have a thought for this one. And it's going to be... It's going to be... I am using my Olive Customized Traveler's Notebook Passport Size as my wallet. And I have a current catch-all from Traveler's Company in there. It's just a monthly. We're going with... And now here's where the color coding really comes in. Because we have us SI booklet. So I'll make a note of it here. And we'll be like... Hey, look at me. And then we're going to go over here to the Passport Monthly Booklet. And again, hey. Done. All right. <clears throat> I think I know what I want this one to be. And we're here. Um, woo woo. Let's do this easily. All of this, I think I want in the B6 Slim Horizontal. Let me tell you why. Um, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'm getting ahead of myself. I did not pull this little booklet that I have, but you guys get it. You know what it is. My woo-woo. Currently, my woo-woo lives in multiple places. In the beginning of this notebook, I have some woo-woo. I did a lot, y'all, because I was trying to learn all the things. And I got real detailed. And I was having a good time. But again, only so many hours in a day. And this was a daily practice for me at one time. I got overwhelmed. I love it. I love it a lot. But I got a little overwhelmed. So that was the start of this notebook. We'll revisit her. And then I busted out this cafe note, which is Tomoy River paper. It is B6 Slim. I do magic writing in here. <laughs> also called scripting. It's basically journaling. I'm sorry, but I don't want you to like see all the things. It's basically journaling your future. Not what has happened, but what you want to happen. Outcomes that you are visualizing what you want. Like if you've interviewed for a job or something, or you're about to have an interview. You might go in here and you might journal every last detail like you're writing a beautiful story and the outcome is exactly what you want it's better than you want man you're getting more money you're getting to work remote like whatever floats your boat you're gonna write it down and you're as you're writing it you're gonna feel all the good feelings you're gonna feel so good about this like i'm already getting tingly you guys good god that is what i call scripting Athletes do visualizations. They visualize those outcomes they want. They perform better. That is what I do a lot of during my, uh, what are we calling it? Magic hour. Yeah, magic hour. So that was a lot of this. It was a lot of pulling the tarot cards. It was doing the things. A lot of that was also in here. And then this happened. Oh, no, wait. Nope, that's the wrong stack. Wait for it. We're almost there. This happened. In 2023, I started to do it in an A6 Hobonichi, and it gave me life. Every day, I would write an intention, an affirmation, do a little collage. So I got to play, a little bit of play, find photos on the internet, slap them in here, track the moons. I was living my best life. In the front, wait for it. Ugh. In the front, I would write down, this is where I kept track of the tarot cards I would pull for the day. And then in the monthlies, this is where I wrote just a small bit of gratitude each day. Loved it. When it's all filled in, it sparks, what is it? Joy. 
loved it. But I didn't finish it. Not because of the book. It wasn't the book's fault. It was my fault. I just kind of stopped doing my woo-woo practices almost entirely. That, that makes me sad. That does not spark joy. I need to bring it back. We already talked about it. So what does that even look like for me? So here we have this place that made me really happy and the B6 Slim, which is just roomier altogether. What do I even do? I think it needs more, it needs to be more than a notebook. It needs to be more than a notebook to keep me accountable, more so than this year. <laughs> to keep me accountable, make me do it every day because I have things happening. It needs to be filled in. Like the joy that that filled in calendar gave me in the front, whatever, you saw it. Mm, 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 mm. So I think it needs to be part planner, part notebook. I think you see where I'm going with this because I love me a B6 Slim and these smaller sizes. Follow me, follow me, give me a new color. B6 Slim horizontal full year because I can do, you know what a horizontal looks like, right? I got a week's around here somewhere. Um, each of the days that are stacked, I can write some of the things. And then I have a page over here where I can, I have a whole page to do more things, but in the back, there's a bunch of other room where maybe I can do my studying and recipes and scripting. That can all go in the back. You see what I'm talking about? You see. Whoop. That is solved. All right, health. It's also already solved. Let's talk about it. So many books. Here are some things I have been doing this year. It's been chaos. Shocking, I know. I started here in the 2024 Passport Size Common Planner. Adorable. I thought I'm gonna take this to me, take this with me to the gym every time I go to the gym, and I can track like how heavy did I lift on that thing? How many minutes was I on the treadmill? But I'm so broken, y'all. I'm so broken. Ain't a lot happening. Ain't a lot happening. I tried though. I tried. We had meal trap meal planning here. We had notes about how I felt or what I did for a workout. Here's where I was planning workouts. It didn't all pan out. I'll just be honest. Uh, like, look at this month when I got super broken again and started going to physical therapy. And he said, no, I'm sorry, you're not going to the gym right now, miss. And I just crossed it all out. Like, I was like, whatever, dude. And all of this has happened until it wasn't. Uh -huh. In the back is where I had the workout as designed by my trainer. Uh, and then graphs and charts and things that make me well happy. Like, I get my nerd on pretty hardcore with those. Okay, so that failed. Then, cut to my doctor finally is on board for keto and fasting, which I've done in the past wildly successfully, I might add. And so she rocked my world. And though I wasn't team keto again yet, uh, I was, you know what, I'll, I'll go back, I'll do the fasting. I'll get, I'll get pretty gangster about it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be my own science project, basically. So these were the notes after that appointment. These were the notes. I, what my weight was there, all of it. And I just, I was doing, I was doing all the things and making plans and tracking. I, this is not sustainable. This is, nope, it's not sustainable. I was writing down what I'd eaten when, and I was trying to make better choices. I was, and I was trying to make better choices based off how she and I conversed about it. And I was doing so many graphs and charts. I was, I was just like in it. And then I wasn't, it's, it's too much. It's too much. I needed to simplify. So I don't know what we're going to do with all these pages, but that's a problem for another day. And then this happened. This is the paper test pocket daily notebook. Second part two. So this started in July. I think I got it in August. I don't even know. 
and it's been so a little hit and miss as I was figuring out what I was even going to be doing health wise. But look, I track fasting. I have a little note here that says what these colors mean. Boop, do a dot. Good job. I track uh, weight somewhere in here. We're not going to go there. I'm writing in steps for the month. But here's my favorite part. Oh, and there's habit trackers already built in. I don't have to draw that shit out. It's already built in. Ooh, that was one big selling point. And then, oh, that's the next month. And then I got... This is taking forever. I hope you all got a cup of tea. Meal timing note, uh, key. This color is food. This color is non-caloric drink. This color is caloric drink. And then when you get back here, let me show you one that's kind of filled out, right? Okay, let's start here. Boop. Uh, gray dot is when I had meds or took Advil or pain management. Um... I ate something at 10 o'clock, I ate something at 1 o'clock, and I ate something at 5 o'clock. Uh, blood sugar is written in here. What I ate, blah, 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 blah. Because I also, as I have success with my plan, I want to be able to look back on weeks and be like, okay, I, I had some amazing results that week. What did I do? What happened? Tell me about it. I'm also writing up here for reference what my fast was. Anyways, we're putting along, we're putting along. But let me show you what I really like. One of the selling points, this spread, which is at the start of every week. You also, at the end of a week, you can do a weekly review and write out like successes and whatevers. I haven't figured that out yet. But this, you guys, right here is the week. And I can meal plan in here. Mm, wait, there's more. All right, what meal prep do I wanna do this weekend so that I have some things <clears throat> that I need for the week, like hard boiled eggs. Write down a few notes about how do I do that chicken in the crock pot? How do I make a chaffle? It's just right here. And then what do I need to buy to make these things? Right there. And then you go to the next page and you start your dailies with a timeline. I don't have to write in that I, I ate the thing at this time. I just boop. It's there. It's done. We're happy. We're happy. And then at the bottom, I'm writing my calories, uh, carbs, protein, and fiber. 